Hey, what's up guys? This video, we're going to be talking about a couple more sweet methods when it comes to lists that'll make your life a lot easier. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so let's get started. The very first one I want to show you guys was grades. Dot, and you can actually see a huge list here of all the things you can do. The one I wanted to look for was contains. And looking at the signature here, you can see it takes the item. All right, I didn't mean to X out of that, sorry. <laughs> contains. It takes the item and it's ultimately going to return a Boolean. So this is great for conditionals if you want to put this in an if statement. So let's go through an example of that. You can say grades.contains, and let's just say we're looking for the value 80. Throw this in an if statement. We can just console.writeline found, and that's it. Right now it's not gonna give us an output because that's not in there, but if we put something that is in there, you'll see the magic. So here we're searching for 26, and you can see it says found. So that one's pretty cool, but it's just a yes or no answer. What if you wanna know where it is found? Well, to do that, you can actually use a different method, and that method is index of. So in here, we're going to put the item, and it's going to return an integer, which is going to be the index. So what item are we looking for? Let's look for index, uh, this guy right here. So that's gonna be index here, one, two, three, four. That, so that's gonna be index five. So we'll pass in 23, and we should expect to get the value five. And we'll just change that text a little bit. And you can see it's true. Now we can check if something does not exist by checking it being equal to negative one. So if we get negative one, we know it does not exist in there. So we'll go with 24, just because I know that's not in the list. Doing a run, you can see we still get the value true. There's variations of this. So for example, last index of, if we have numerous ones in here, so let's say we got 26 here a couple of times, and maybe we got a 26 right here. Well, we would wanna grab this one here. So that's gonna be index nine. So we'll throw a 26 in here and see what we get. And I kind of prefer just to console log it, but let me know what you guys think. Do you like seeing it inside of if statements like so, or do you prefer just console logging and see what the output is? But for now, let's just see if this is equal to nine, and you can see we get the value true. All right, so what other methods should we know? Let's take a look here. I think we covered all of the main ones when it comes to searching, but there are some other methods in here that I think I'm gonna cover, so stay tuned for upcoming videos because we're gonna be learning all kinds of new things. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.